ay itong araw na ito mayroong limang limang pinatay gawa na war on drugs no? ay paano ko ba makatakbo ang sayo tanong ko sa kanya eh oh Nung narinig mo pa na lima ang pinatay sa war on drugs, anong ginawa mo? No? Kasi baka makita natin na yung pro-life, tayo kasi pro-life tayo eh, pero baka mamaya yung pro-life simply becomes an ideology. No? Kasi bakit? Kasi tiyan mo kasi anong ginawa mo? Eh, pati nakapagmura na lang ako eh. Kasi wala na ako narinig kundi patayan. Ah, that is only an ideology. Yung pagiging pro-life mo ideology. Anong dapat na gawin mo kung talaga nakatagpo mo ang Diyos? Ah, should lead you to prayer. No? Should lead us to prayer. Kaya yung patuloy na hamon ko, at ito yung suggestion ko, no? Halimbawa, ho, may narinig kayo sa, o may narinig kayo na panood sa TV, na yung araw na ito ay mayroong limang napatay, gawa ng war on drugs. Anong pwede mong gawin? Ah, pray. Five Hail Marys. Mag-isahan ka na di mang Hail Mary. Bakit Hail Mary? Kalala natin, no? Aba, ginoong Maria, napupuno ka ng grasya, ang Panginoong Diyos ay sumas, sumas sa iyo, bukod kang pinagpala sa babaeng lahat at pinagpala naman na yung anak na siya. Santa Maria, ina ng Diyos, ipanalangin mo kami makasalan ngayon at kung kami mamamatay. Bakit to? Kasi yun, maluwag, kahit. Ngayon na itong kami mo. Simple. One Hail Mary. Wala pang isang minuto. Para kanino? Ah, para doon sa namatay. Kahit hindi mo kilala ang pangalan. Kung sino yung pinatay. At hindi lang doon sa namatay. Hindi natatapos doon. Saan pa? Doon sa pumatay. For conversion. Ah. Then and then. Ah. Then ngayon. Yung pagiging pro-life mo, maliwanag. No? Ang talagang nakatagpo mo ang Diyos. Bakit? Nagdasal ka eh. Nagdasal ka. That is something spiritual. No? So kaya po ito yung hamon na yung napahayag ko natin. Kaya nga kasabi nga natin, kung sakali mang alimbawa, Father, limang beses kung narinig na limang, be, na limang tao ang pinatay ngayon, hindi limang beses kang magdasal mo. No? It will not take you five minutes. So, bahagi yun na kung saan yung makita po natin. Ay, bahagi yun na kung saan yung makita natin na ah, itong mga tao na ito, kapag ginagawa natin toilet, ay talagang nakatagpo natin ang Diyos. At saan na nagdudulot ito ng kagalakan sa ating mga puso? Kasi yun ang dapat na maging bahagi at epekto ng presensya ng Diyos. Kaya nga sa ating panalangin kumisan ni we we're always reminded na ano, let us put ourselves in the presence of God. No? Have to become aware. Have to become aware. And kapag tayo ay naging mulap sa presensya ng Diyos, kasi ito yung problema ko ni Philip eh. No? Kasi kasama niya si Jesus for three years. Kasama niya si Jesus hanggang sa kanyang muling pagkabuhay. Pero nakita niya, hinahanap niya pa yung ama. Hindi niya nakita ang Diyos kay Jesus. Kaya yung pinapaalala ni Jesus, ako at ang Ama ay isa. At yung patuloy na hamon mo sa atin na lahat ngayon, ang pagkatagpo natin sa Diyos. At sana po maging mulat tayo, ah, ito yung karanasan ko. Dito ko nakatagpo ang Diyos. At ibahagi natin sa iba. Sabagat ang mundong ito ay mundo na baka nakakalimutan nila na makatagpo ang Diyos. Bakit? Ito yung problema ng modernism. Na ang ano nakita? Ah, ang kailangan kumisa na hinahanap ng mga tao ngayon ni Ellen, kapangyagad, kayamanan, at kapangyarihan. Ito yung kailangan ko para ako'y lumigaya. Hindi. Ang isinasabi na Yesus ay makatagpo mo ako ay magdudulot ito ng kagalakan. At dapat to, tayong mga Kristiyano 
ay mga buhay na saksi ng kagalakan ng dulot ng pagkatagpo sa Diyos. Huwag din po natin kalimutan ang ating mga nanay. Hindi lang po ngayon ay sabagat Mother's Day. No? Hindi lang mga sabagat marami silang ginawa sa ating buhay. No? Pero isa, no? ang mga nanay ay alin. Ah, yung mga nanay po yung mga unang nagturo sa atin ng presensya ng Diyos. No? Huwag natin kalimutan. Sa tayo unang natutong makilala ang Diyos. Sa pamagitan ng ating mga nanay. Sino nang unang nagturo sa ating magdasal? Yung ating mga nanay. Sana po, no? patuloy din po natin na maging bahagi, may pagpatuloy. No? Kasi ngayon, yung hamon, no? kumisan ng hawak ng nanay, hindi na rosaryo. Ano na? Facebook na yung hawak. No? Kumisan, ang natutunan kagad ng bata no? ay Facebook kaysa rosaryo no? o magdasal. But we think our mothers for pointing to us and to let us aware of the presence of God. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and the third day rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us bring before the Father the needs of the universal church and community and the world, confident in His faithfulness and love. Lord, show us the way. Lord, show us the way. that the leaders of the church may continue to build up the people of God as people of justice and compassion. We pray, Lord, show us the way, that the leaders of nations, following the example of the deacons of the early church, may govern its citizens wisely and attend the needs of the people. We pray, Lord, show us the way that those who are beset by trouble, loneliness, and fear of death may be strengthened by their faith in the Lord Jesus. We pray, Lord, show us the way that our parish community, like the first Christians, may strive for peace, harmony, and sharing within our community. We pray, Lord, show us the way that the elderly, the widows, and orphans and the less privileged in our society may find solace and comfort through those who care for them. We pray, 
Lord, show us the way. Heavenly Father, you have given us, Jesus, your Son, to be our way, our truth, and our life. Help us to listen to him and put his teaching into practice that we may be worthy to enter into your kingdom where it reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange affected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead. Grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Give up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ our Passover has been sacrificed by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment. In the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting up your sacrifice will be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith.
celebrate the memorial to the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection, the ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize the sacrificial victim. By whose death you will us to reconcile to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished with the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Martin, and with all the saints and his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, that one sufficient salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servants, Francis, Benaventura, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. This and graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever.
Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days and by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously God, grant our peace in unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. <laughs>
the death penalty. Father, source and giver of life, we lift our hearts and voices to you. Help us to build a society that truly chooses life in all situations. Let our response be, Lord, heal our pain. For those experiencing pain and anguish because of violence and crime, response, for perpetrators and victims of atrocities who both struggle with anger and hatred, response, for our broken world, enchained by the desire for revenge, response, for our wounded society, misled by the illusion that one must take life in order to defend it, response, let us say together, help us to make peace. For our country, tempted to accept violent revenge, response. For the conviction to recognize and uphold the dignity of all people, response. For the wisdom to see poverty, injustice, and lack of educational and employment opportunities as likely causes of criminality, response. For guidance and compassion in addressing the pain of both victims and perpetrators of wrongdoing, response. For the fortitude to find solutions that protect the dignity of all people and bring about true reconciliation, response. For the inspiration to renew society on the basis of love and restorative justice, response. Let us pray. Father of compassion, you let your reign fall on the just and the unjust. Give us a heart of like yours so that we may be loved as you love, even those who have caused us pain. There is one, this, there is in our land a cry for vengeance and a move to fill up their throats and kill offenders, but disguised as a call for justice. Let true and lasting justice spring forth. Jesus, our brother, you suffered execution in the hands of the powerful, but you did not let hatred overcome you. Help us to reach out the victims of violence so that our enduring love may help heal their wounds. Holy Spirit, Lord and giver of life, you strengthen us in the struggle for justice. Help us to work tirelessly against state-sanctioned death and to renew society in truth, justice, love, and respect so that violence will cease and peace may prevail. Amen. O Mary, Mother of Life, protect the Filipino people from the forces of death. San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calongsor, St. Paul the First Hermit, St. Martin de Porres, Pedro Lopez. Please stand. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Uh, for announcement to tomorrow, our mass will be at 7 o'clock in the evening, you know, instead of 7 o'clock in the morning. For the feast of Saint Isidore. Ang ating po mga kabataan ay may nadatangin handog para po sa araw na ito sa mga ina. Pakinggan na natin sila. Magbibidyo ka? 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 Magbibidyo ka?